Ah, there you are. That's the, the for me the the greatest the greatest day in Rovers history. The first game in in Tala against Sligo Rovers, and of course it was only right to have big decks there. I have little little snippets of big deck at the bottom. So we all we all remember deck. And of course Frank O'Neill beside him, good company. <laughs> What was your first game of Rovers? How did you get involved? Ah, way, way back, 60s, against Cork Celtic, Milltown, and uh, we, we won 2 1. And it's a very vague memory, mind you. It's funny, it, it, you remember actually getting the lift over the stile. You remember walking up the steps, the green pitch. As far as I remember, Pat Courtney scored a spectacular own goal, and, and um, the goalkeeper, I'm not sure it was Jimmy Cummins or Mick Smith, I thought, he was going to, I thought he was going to lynch him, but it's funny how you remember things like that. But um, Now this is, this is the, old, the old collection, which I started 50, exactly 50 years ago. First game that, was, uh, that I collected the, the, the newspapers from was against Birmingham City, on, I think it was the 1st of August in 1971, so it's exactly 50 years ago. That was all mostly pre-internet pre and that, so it's nice to have them, the hard copies, and they're all kept together, and they can be used for, for club research, you know? These ones here are Rovers ones, really, pre-1971, pre-league playoff, as I call it. So there's programmes, press cuttings, all kinds of stuff in, in them ones. And that's General League of Ireland as well, which is very important, because you, you find context then for some of the stuff in that one by, by, look, by look, looking at the other clubs, Bowles, Dundalk, from Condra, of course, they're all there. So an old boy I used to know, he used to drink in the pub and it's called Jimmy Birmingham. He played in, in, for Bowles in 1928 and all that. And he played for Oil and he played one game for Oil. But he always said that to me. Don't he said to me? He said, he said you used to love playing in, in Milltown, even in the twenties and thirties. He said, he said, if you couldn't, if you couldn't play football on that pitch, you couldn't play at all. And the fans were real close to the, they were real close to the, to the goalkeepers and all that. Night, like the poor old goalkeepers used to get a terrible time in Glenmore Park, you know. And I'm sure the lads could tell you. Loads about that, yeah. My favourite one of all is probably the, probably the, be first scrapbook from from 1971. That's the one from 71, and I never I never alter it or, or anything like that. I I I, de, I deliver it exactly the way it is. It's the very first scrapbook, you know. There it is. There, like there is a couple of errors, like of Jerry Bourne as the reserve goalie, as Jerry Doyle was the chaps now. The, the most interesting here is the greatest rivals. As 11 year old in 1971. The greatest rivals, Shelburne. See, Bowles, Bowles were amateur up to 69. They'd only turn professional around that time. So, so that rivalry was really starting to, to build at that time. As you can see, it's not in great condition, but I don't want to change it. I, I, I kind of like it the, the way it is. There's Mick Lawler, Paul Martin. <laughs> That's the redrawings of the players as, as, a, as, as an 11 year old. And Mick Lawler spelled wrong, E-R. Mick Kearden spelled wrong, God. Mick Leach, he had short hair in that photo, so I decided to put on the, the rest of it. But, but as I say, that was, I'd never change it for anything. That's, that's, that's the, the very first scrapbook. Yeah, I got interested in the, the history of the club quite quickly. The cup was the big thing. The league's the big thing now. The, the cup's still huge, but in them days, the cup, I was the cup. And like, of course, I came in kind of midway th through the six in a row kind of thing. It was sort of coming towards the end of the six in a row. So really, we were brought up on that. I remember when we lost to Shelbourne in 1970. Like, by God. Like I was, I was ten, I was ten years of age. Like, and so, like Roberts hadn't lost a cup match in seven years, like since '63. Like everyone was in shock. I'll never forget that game and the, that time. But sadly, I didn't, I didn't keep, I didn't keep the press cuttings at all from that season or the around that. But I started in '71. Now this is the, the first photo of my collection to related to, to, to the move to Tala. My old friend John Bourne, you know, a very old friend of mine, and there he is proudly with his Rover scarf. And he's looking towards the towards the square, and just look at that field, the field of dreams. There's nothing there. That's where our stadium is now. It's not lovely. <laughs> Football's all about it's all about going to the game, isn't it? It's 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 not just fellas kicking the ball around. It's it's it's, meet, it's meeting your mates and a few points and all that kind of thing. Mr. Terrible. It was fantastic to go back. It, it was it was just 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 brilliant. I'll ever. I think anyone who was there the first night, well, the Finn Harps game, will, will never forget that. It, was, it wasn't the greatest result on earth, but 
for, it's very rare that the result didn't really bother us that much. It was just the fact that that that, that we'd, we'd had our first game back, and it was, and of course Ali Hargan was there to detain us in person as well, which always which always adds to an occasion. I remember that well. That's outside the mansion house. That's <laughs> John Gallagher, Mad Rovers fan from Antashka, and he's involved in Antashka, and that's 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 myself, Jim, and brother Tommy Conroy, and we're and we're letting Louie know what we think of him. In fact, he ended up running away. He was so scared of us. And he, so the last we seen him was he was running, he was, he was running up the road. And it, was, it was quite hilarious at the time. Still laugh about it. <laughs> Sorry to pull up the, the heartstrings so early, but was the downside to coming back to the Tata? You didn't have your good mate, uh, Big Dex. So tell us about your friendship with him. Oh, yeah, he would have been for that one, yeah. Yeah, it's a three hard type of dick, you know. It was lovely to sit there actually at the match and a couple of those people near me who I didn't even know and they were talking about. That kind of made me day a bit. But he, like, he was a great friend. He, he just uh, so many stories. I could be all day talking about dick, you know. But he, he loved Rovers and he loved the Rovers fans as well. He was great. Cause it's, it's, it's just so hard to explain to people. I just get my head sorted. Yeah, see. A <laughs> deck loved dogs, you know. And I was like the day, the day I was in his house, and his ma was alive at the time. Of course, you know, because I went down for my breakfast. And of course, deck comes in. And he always done a great fly up, and he he had his one, and then he he gave me my one, and he had another one identical, lovely and all. And was, I said, the ma must be coming down to join us, you know, for breakfast. And of course, the ma comes down and. This, this is she opens the door and the fucking dog comes in, puts the breakfast on the floor. The dog had exactly the same breakfast, you know. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. The fucking thing was gone in a few seconds. But that summed up deck, you know. It's like we used to stay out in this house, you see, especially when Robert's got the lights in Milltown. That's, that'd be a typical. We go out to Milltown on the Friday night, then we go boozing around, around the south side and end up in his house. Big breakfast on the Saturday, and then, and then, uh, but and then, then of course we go and do it all again. Another load of points and all. We'd even go up and see the reserves sometimes, but uh, they were the happy memories. Happy memories, then you know. I remember that's the last game. Sean McNulty, you know. It's good to have these ones, isn't it? Just for the documentary yourself, could you retell that story about uh, Jack Wilson about him saying there's a problem? Ah, oh, it's. <laughs> Yeah, see, see, me and Deck were always together, as you know. But yeah, Jack Wilson. We, we used to we used to meet Jack. You see, and, like, we wouldn't be with Jack. He'd be with his crowd. We'd be with there. But he'd always come over to us. If we were anywhere, especially in the overnights, he'd always come over for a chat, and he'd come over and have a few. Because Jack liked his point, and so I think we did too. The night up in Donegal, he came over to us, and of course, me and Deck were sitting there. It was kind of late. I don't know what time it was in the morning, but but uh, a lot of people had gone, and we were there. And, the way we're well on at this stage, and Jack comes over and he's a serious look at it. And he says, He says, Jay's lads, I'm having a terrible problem, you know, terrible problems. And because I looked at Deck and he looked at me and said, Jay's this out of the barber full of soup. Like, Come on, no, Jay's. Uh, but uh, no, Jack says, Hope you're he's all right. So it ended up, I went on for a while and we didn't know what to say. And he was just, and eventually, I think, I'm not sure, I think it was myself. I says to Jack, Jack, what's your problem, you know? And he says, Jesus, lads, you know, and we thought, you know, he says, I can't stop thinking about rovers, he says. I just can't stop thinking about rovers, he says. I get up in the morning thinking about rovers, I'm driving to work, I'm thinking about rovers, I'm in work, I'm eating me dinner. He says, I just can't stop thinking about rovers, he says. It's, it's, it's. And of course, I looked at Dick, and I, and I, said, I, said, I said, look, Jack, I'm the same. And are you the same, Dick? Dick says, yes. And so that was Jack's problem solved. And round the drinks came over and that was the end of that. It was, it was a very funny, but that, that was Jack. That was Jack. He, he really loved Rovers, Jack. Is that one of the things that makes the club special? So many people eat, eat drink, sleep Rovers. Yeah, because just, even just with Jack. It's like when I get, I get the 27 bus, I go into Tala. And it turns around at the hospital. And when it comes around, you, you see the, the floodlights. And every time I think of Jack. And we put a jar off slowly.